Hi, this is Mike and we're looking at Bitcoin in this bottoming pattern. So what I want to say about this move right now is, yeah, sure, it made another low, but it reversed. And there's a couple of things to point out in that reversal process that makes this kind of look all right. So first of all, we didn't break that high. We came down and we continued to go down, creating a pattern which gave itself away during the process. And it's basically the same pattern as the bigger pattern at the lows. So wave five, I can move it down here. That's fine. Now, what would make you trade this now? Well, to me, there's a couple of things. So first of all, I would have to say that if we go to the five minute chart, I could just point out once again that we had a weak five wave move. Okay, so the weak five wave move, one, two, three, four, five. So that there, what, what's, what's a type two weak five wave move? So it just means that each wave moves down in five waves, but it's weak to the point where waves four and, f uh, sorry, wave four overlaps with one and two, right? Even if that means the price action or whatever, that's pretty obvious that that happened here. But then at the lows, we had a type one weak five wave move, which to me is more common. That's where you get price action that ends with a five wave move that moves down in three waves each, right? Like this. Right, so the rules still apply. Wave three can never be the shortest, but waves four and one and two can overlap, right? That's when I really believe that that's what it is, okay? Whenever I see, whenever I'm trying to call something a weak five wave move and waves four and one and two don't overlap, like for example, this, um, like this, I don't believe it because it, it's not weak unless these waves overlap each other, right? It, it's probably just a problem with the observation, okay? So here at the lows, well, what did we see? Let's have a look. Okay, let's go all the way down into this area. So yes, we had one, two, three, not one, two, three, four, five, even though the last wave was as long as wave one, right? We had one, two, three, four, sorry, four, and then five. So what makes me think that that's the case? Okay, well, it, it's small degree, so you're gonna get it wrong sometimes, all right? It's not like you can pull these waves apart too much because the, the time frame is, way too small. So basically I see here, this must have been an A, right? Obviously it's pretty sharp, hard. It's not a hundred percent easy to gauge, but it's, it's obviously it's there. A, B, C, D, right? And then E was this last move, which was a type, basically a type two weak five way move. Okay, the, 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 they're overlapping. I mistook it for a zigzag, but that's fine because this pattern sort of highlighted what was happening. All right, this is wave, this is wave five. So what is wave five? Well, it's a type two, uh, sorry, type one weak five wave move, like the one I showed you back here. I'll just show you again. Oh, hang on, wait, two in a two larger time frame. Right, it's this pattern here, right? This pattern here, okay? Overlapping waves, four and one, two. Okay, let's go back to the small degree. Okay, is that actually there? Can we see it? Yes, we can. Okay, for starters, the, 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 the wave three in the middle there, 
right? Zigzag. Wave one, right there. Zigzag. Okay. Wave five, right there. Zigzag. Can you see it? Okay. Now the correction here wasn't as clear because it's sharp, right? And potentially the zigzag wave one might have only been here because if it's not clear, it's hard because it's a small degree. So where was the correction here? Well, it was A, B, C, D, E. And in here, it was much clearer. A, B, C, D, E. Right? Overlapping wave four and one, two. For me, that's a reversal. Not only is the larger pattern a weak five wave move, so is the last wave of this move here. That's why it could only make a small low before reversing. Now on the hourly chart, that means, right, if I get rid of all the stuff, we have like basically what is a hammer pattern, right? So if you're into candles and you understand what candles mean, it's a hammer pattern. And that's also a bullish harami, right? I don't know if you know what harami means, but it's a translation for pregnant woman, which is giving birth to a new trend, right? That's what that pattern means. On top of it, you could also say that once the one hour candle grows back up here to be longer, that would be a more, sorry, a, a morning star pattern, right? A morning star is a reversal sign as well. So we've got reversal signals, three of them, um, on basically the different ways of looking at the chart, the candles, uh, five wave move, weak five wave move. All right, let's uh, go back to 15 minute. All right, so you got Weak five-way move. Oh, sorry, everything comes back now. So, so this whole move is a weak five-way move. And the last move, the last wave in wave five is a weak five-way move. Okay. The whole move down is just a standard five-way move. Because remember, we count it from the end of wave E. We don't count the first move down. That just serves as evidence that it's a top. All right. One, two three, four, five, right? There's no rules broken. Wave three is the longest and sharpest. Waves one, two, and four do not touch, right? They do not touch. So that's an official five wave move. Ending pattern with extra confirmation at the lows with a hammer on the hourly, okay? So what's next, right? So as I've mentioned before, I believe that what's coming next is uh, an A wave that can go pretty high in terms of symmetry in the markets, or the A wave might only bounce to the previous wave four. Okay. And then the C wave could potentially come back up to the highs here. So, what are we trading? First, we're trading an A wave. Okay. How are we going to trade it? We're going to look for five waves up first. Okay, the first thing we look for is five waves up. So this has just begun. So obviously, I would be going along here now with this type of confirmation instead of waiting for a break of this level. Right, even though that would have been correct to use before. Right, you wouldn't have gone long unless you broke that level in case the count was wrong which it proved to be wrong, but not entirely inaccurate, just delayed long. But with this type of pattern here, which I know it's an hourly and that's fine. If you understand anything about candle patterns, what would be the confirmation for trading this? Okay. So if you listen to Steve Nissen, he'll tell you to wait for a confirmation candle. 
right, which would be a green candle that's bigger than the, the red candle. Wait for the close, but not only wait for that close, wait for the third and fourth candle to also show, you know, the green candle to be green and long and closing at the highs. Okay, so he's more leaning to the fourth session, to the fourth hour, rather than straight away, depending on your tolerance for taking risk and your understanding of the waves, because it's all connected, right? It's all connected. The waves are merely the underlying reason why candles create the patterns they create. Okay, so I'll keep you updated on how this progresses. Thanks for watching.